seta lima sika rake pala santa rima saya o sheke parima saya oh i have tested of the lord and i know that he is good oh i have tested of his goodness and i know that he is a good father oh nimeona wema wake na najua bwana wewe ni mwema oh share mazande balia aya katele basharada bazaya oh we have come to glorify the name of the lord oh he's the lamb upon the throne he alone deserves our worship you reign you ancient zion's king ya rane mashete pela bazaya your glory has no end ye masele masuta baria aye ke pe katala la bazaya oh rabe shadia la masaya be glorified oh god be glorified jesus be glorified oh god ye rede be la bashena na 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 makaya ripa ko soto lo lo bo shala na na bahande somebody prepare your heart to worship the lord adore the lord adore the lord tonight oh yes lord no other name like your name no other name has been given to us than the name of jesus no other name has power to save us than the name of jesus yes you have come to adore jesus yes you have come to adore hamashia the one who is full of glory the one who is full of light yes in the light of god we become the light as we behold him we shall become the light tonight as we enthrone him we shall be glorified together with the lord ye passe ke pela sia la baliba aye rebeke bara da 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 basaya ye paro sha te bereke te le bara basaya o mwambie hakuna mwingine aliyeinuliwa aye ke tala na mashande come on say it with your mouth all the other gods are the works of men but you are the most high god there is none like you lord there is none like you lord in heaven and on earth oh who was ready to break the seal only the lamb of god oh share basaka barabazaya thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus oh rabeshana marokuzaya ipale sate bele bela ba oh rabesheketa ya labazaya oh we worship you alone oh god we worship you alone oh yes we worship you alone cuz you reign you ancient zion's king kadoshka do say you are mighty on your throne thank you jesus you reign you ancient zion's king kadoshka do on your throne say you reign you reign you ancient Zion Oh, 
Psalms 150 says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor, I have breath tonight. I have breath in my lungs. I have breath in the name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor, I have breath to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you have breath, why don't you give it out to the Lord? Hallelujah. 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 Help me welcome your neighbor to the house of the Lord. Tell them that the Lord is happy to see you tonight. You have chosen well. You have chosen to be found in the house of the Lord. Amen. Welcome your other neighbor to the left and to the right. Thank you, Jesus. Are they happy to be in the house of the Lord? Somebody wave to the Most High God. Wave, wave, wave to Jesus. Wave to the Lord, wave to the Lord. Come on, the angels in heaven are doing better than you are tonight. Somebody get a banner and wave it to the Lord. I'm saying get something in your hand and begin to worship him.
you to turn to your neighbor and I want you to welcome them in this service. Amen. Turn to two or three people, those that are seated from far. You can come near. Amen. So that we can give space for the people who are coming in. Hallelujah.
just lift up your hands before the Lord and just adore his holy name. He is Yahweh, he is Jehovah God, he is the Lamb that was slain, he is holy, he is holy, 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 holy are you, oh God. You are so holy, Jesus, oh Lamb of God, Lamb of God, holy are you, Lord.
up your hands and just worship him tonight oh rabaka seke trabala in the rest what a privilege it is to be found in his house e re pakaria la la ka seke trababo e pala li le le contrasta kabala bo shara oh ria babo seke pregere de li la la santa Ele beria baba bo shara baba bo sakataya empe kele le 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 bele desto kala baba ba e kele aria babo selia gande ele peri ele le 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 e ke peri le 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 oria marana de 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 saka oh atosha yesu Oh ribaba sakambre gede dele ribaba e kempari la ra konsekeri la ra bo sharara oh we give you all the glory e shakara baba bo sakaria bache ara paka sakata e ele sekaya raba Oh Yesu watnitosha Oh ramasikiri ala la bosha Mwambie Yesu watosha Watosha Yesu Watosha Yesu Wanitosha wanitosha wema wako watosha ukarimu wako watosha upendo wako watosha neno lako latosha osha kabere basanta ya nikiwa na wewe ninayote yesu 
Nikiwana wewe Mana wewe niye watosha Estele beni anagashada We worship you tonight Jehovah we release the sound of worship from the center of the city and declare Lord Jesus Christ there is none like you our Jehovah you exceed all you are greater than all you are mightier than all you are seated I am Baba, every principality you are seated above every dominion and power Jesus you are the Lord of Lords we worship you we worship you tonight and declare unto the atmosphere in this house in the heavenly of heavenly so oh God almighty we scatter every cloud of heaviness in the name of Jesus Christ oh God as it is in heaven so let it be here on earth as it is in heaven we declare tonight that the altar of JCC city altar is connected to the altar of God the tabernacle of your dwelling there are angels ascending and descending in this place heavenly portals we declare they are open they are open they are open we open up the heavenly portals tonight and declare let heavenly reign let the glory of God let the power of the Holy Father rest upon this place let the liberty of the Spirit of God overflow in this place oh God oh we honor you we honor you oh my God this is the dwelling of God this is the dwelling of God this is the dwelling of God every knee must bow every long resistance tonight must be broken every whisper every chains that have held you tonight that have held you for long tonight there is help tonight there is help grace is in the house healing is in the house glory is in the house I know what I am saying if you have faith raise up your eyes unto heaven for where does your help come from oh tonight it is not in vain that we are covered we are covered in the name of the Lord we are covered in the name of the Lord and there shall be shouts in the dance of the precious tonight we release a prayer Este kapananda, osta kapanile, este kaparula la sa. Oh my God, my God is writing, is rewriting a story, is changing your story. You came here shameful. You are living here with pride. You are living here with dignity. Whatever the enemy has stolen, I declare seven times you will be recompensed. Seven times it's coming back to you. If you are faith, I don't know what it is, but I want you to declare by faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. I want you to take one chance, one minute, and frame that situation that seems impossible. We introduce it to a God who declares, I am the God 
of all flesh is there anything that is too difficult for me to do is there anything that is too difficult for me to change here he God is asking you tonight is there any sickness that he cannot heal is there any bondage that he cannot break is there any circumstance that he cannot turn around tonight is your night tonight we decree faith the spirit of faith the spirit of faith the spirit of faith oh my god we declare oh we believe so we speak we believe and so we speak by faith by faith by faith there is nothing too difficult to our God father we give you praise we glorify your name God is in this place. I feel faith rising in somebody. I feel faith rising in this house. I feel things changing tonight. Oh my God. You don't have to see it. But my Bible tells me the things that are seen, they are temporal. Oh, that circumstance that is you are seen, it is not permanent it is temporal in other words in a twinkling of an eye it can change that enemy that has been fighting you in a twinkling of an eye can disappear and tonight in the presence of God in the Mount Zion the city of God we are bold we are bold we are bold to declare who is like our God. Who is like our God. Oh my God. Who is like you God. Oh mighty King of Kings. Oh Lord God. Mighty warrior. Great in battle. The Lion of the tribe of Judah. Oh my God. tonight mighty warrior great in battle Jehovah is your name Jehovah Jehovah is your name Jehovah Jehovah 
just tell God, take over. Just tell God, take over. I surrender before thee, almighty God, and I recognize only you can help me. I surrender tonight and request you, Father, by faith, take over. Take over. In Jesus' name we do pray and believe. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and tell them, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Praise and worship. You can have your seats. We appreciate you for the service and the labor that you have given unto the Lord. Buana sifiwe. Buana sifiwe. Sielewi mbona tumeacha viti ambavyo avina wenyewe na wewe huko. Kwa heshima ninge kuomba tu songe viti vya mbele. Wewe ni mwenyeji hapa ni kwenyu. Sikae ni kama wewe ni mpita njia. Buana sifiwe. Ah. Uh, Ningependa tukaweze kushiriki katika neno la Bwana jioni ya leo. Nina uhakika ya kwamba jioni ya leo utabarikiwa. Ambia jirani ya leo ya jirani ya leo karibu nawe utabarikiwa. Ambia jirani aliye karibu nawe utabarikiwa. Ukiona ni kama amini, pindukia mwingine, muambie wewe ni kama utabarikiwa. Utabarikiwa. We thank God for this evening. I want tonight very heavily, as I was preparing, I sensed a great charge in my spirit. And it's like tonight, I'm just a messenger. I'm not a preacher. The Lord has a word for some of you, or for me, if it's not you. And I want us to be able to partake, and above all, open our spiritual eyes and our hearts that we may receive the message of our Lord tonight. Tonight, I will try to be very, 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 Brief, I don't know how brief I can be, because I think this is a message that somebody has been waiting for God to be able to bring a change in their lives. The book of Psalms, chapter 25, verse 2. If you came with your Bible, I want you to turn to the book of Psalms, chapter 25, verse 2. Are you there? Are you there? Eish, the church is silent. Are you there? Let's pray for the word. Father, we pray that you will confirm your word tonight. We pray and ask you, Lord Jesus Christ, to be glorified. At the entrance of your word tonight, may there be a shift May there be hope. May our faith, faith be built. And may we, God, be encouraged. And may we be comforted. And may we be exalted from every affliction and every circumstance. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do pray and believe. Amen. The book of Psalms, chapter 25, verse 2. Oh, my God, I trust in what? I do what? I trust in you. Do not, this is which version, but let me just use the version that is on the screen. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph 
over me. I want you to repeat those words to yourself. Just stick to verse 2. Oh my God, I do what? I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Psalms chapter 9 verse 10. Remember, this is a Bible focus, so we will try to accumulate as many scriptures as we can as we progressively indulge the word of the Lord. Now, verse 10, the Bible says, And those who know your name will do what? Will put their trust in you. Those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. And those that know your name, in other words, the ability and the knowledge that you have about God will determine the quantity of trust that you have in him. Knowledge of God corresponds with the trust that you have in him. For you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. In other words, God has a reputation, God has a character of watching over them that put their trust in him. Psalms 115 verses 9. Psalms 115 verses 9. Psalms 115 verses 9. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their what? And their shield. Go to verse 10. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. When you trust in the Lord, the benefit of trusting in the Lord is you will get help and you will be protected. He is their help and their shield. Verses 11. You who fear the Lord, tr do what? Trust in the Lord, for he is what? You are shield and you are, I want you to personalize this scripture. For he is your help and what? And your shield. The last verse, verse 12. The Lord has been mindful of who? I want you to put yourself there. The Lord has been mindful of who? Of me. He will do what? He will bless me. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the church of JCC City Halter. He will bless the house of Aaron. Remember the scriptures that are read. There is a charge to the house of Israel. There is a charge to the house of Haran. So the benefits of trusting in God is that the Lord will bless you. Tell your neighbor you will be blessed. The last scripture, as I try to just come up with an introduction, Psalms 125 verse 1. Psalms 125, verse 1. Those who trust in who? Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be done, what? Which cannot be moved, but abides forever. 
abides forever. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. And in other verses, in other versions, it says they cannot be shaken. You cannot be shaken because Mount Zion is the place where the God of Israel dwells. Mount Zion, if you read the scriptures, if you look at Isaiah chapter 24, verses 3, I don't want you to go there. Psalms chapter 2, verses 6. The dwelling place of God is Mount Zion. And the Bible in this portion of verse, on this portion of scripture says, and those who trust in the Lord, they are steadfast. They are immovable. They cannot be shaken because these people have put their trust in a God who changes not. These people have put uh, their trust in a God who is all able. These people have put their trust. In other words, they know whom they have believed. And because of them putting their trust in this God, the Bible says two things will happen to them. They will not be moved. No matter what is happening around their lives or in their lives, the anchor of their lives and the anchor of their well-being is their trust in the Lord. And I want you to be very, 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 very attentive to the previous verses because when you put the, your trust in the Lord, you will get help. When you put your trust in the Lord, you will be covered. When the Lord says he will be your shield, when you put your trust in the Lord, you will be blessed. So them that put their trust in the Lord, the Bible tells us that they will not be shaken. They will not be shaken. They cannot be moved. The storms of life, the adversity of life will only blow on them and make them stronger because this kind of people will abide forever. Tell your neighbor, I am unshakable. Tell your neighbor, I am unshakable. It's like uh, you are waiting for traffic to ease in your wende nyumbani. But I want you to be alive to what we will be discussing tonight. Tonight, my message is, you will not be put to shame. As I was preparing this this afternoon and the previous day, because this is a portion of scripture that came in a mid, in a season and, and in a period of intense prayer, there is something that God wants to deal with his people. There is something that God wants to do in our lives in this season. One of the things that has engulfed many of us who are born again, who are believing in God, who trust in God, who have been serving God, is that there are portions of our life that we are shameful about. Each and every one of us, there is a portion of your life, there is a section of your life that you have been waiting God upon. There is something, there is a cry, there is a pain that the eyes of man cannot see. There are deep-seated wounds in us that have been there. And there are questions that have started emanating because of long periods of shame and disappointment. 
It's like the God we have been trusting, the God that we read in these portions of scripture, the God that I come and interact with in this service and in other places where you hear the word of God. It's like there is a disconnect between what he is saying and what is happening in your life. We have been running to church, coming to church. And the people around us have been looking at us. Our family members are observing us. And they are asking themselves, is this how God treats his people? Ah. All those prayers, all those cashes, all those morning glories, everything that you have been faithful at doing your diligence in seeking God and yet there are questions that are still lingering and yet there are answers that you cannot provide your children are asking if mom we are going to church why is it this and this that our life and the story of our life has become tell your neighbor Tonight, God has an answer for you. So when we talk about trusting God, one of the things that we need to first deal with tonight is who is this that we have put our trust in? Because when there is a disconnect, because if there is a disillusionment, because when it is not clear, when in your heart of heart, you do not have the confidence of whom you have believed, then the storms of life will make you to question and doubt God. So the first point that we need to be able, the first place that will give us some, source, some, some sort of strength is if we understand who is this God who has called us, who is this God that we are putting our trust in. Because trust is an asset. Trust is like money. It's like a currency. You don't use your money anyhow. Before you procure or you buy a commodity from the market, there is a level of trust. That's why some of you cannot buy anything else but Omo. There is a confidence that you have in a brand. Oh. That's why some Gina Watazema is like your Omo. Because the only big brand, reputable brand, that has uh, over the years given you guaranteed results is Omo. So there is a, a confidence that even when you go, even if it is fake, that's why counterfeit products are car packaged in products or in, in packages of the original stuff. Atajukua mchanga aeke kwa koto ni homo. Na kwa sababu wewe unajua homo si walagai. Utanunua homo kumbe umenunua mchanga. So before we are able to get some comfort and some confidence, we must understand who it is that we are believed in. Who is this God? That has called us. Why should I care to give my trust? Why should I care to lean on Him? Why should I care not to look for my other ways to help? Because even the world they will tell you, oh my God cannot help somebody who does not help himself. Have you had that that conversation? Yani Mungu saidia wale wameji saidia. That is demonic. That is not scriptural. So tonight, the first point that I want to talk is God. Who is God? And for you to be able and under the sun, we will never be able to comprehensively define who God is. 
But I will attempt to talk about God in three things. Number one, who is God? And I will look at A, the character of God. Because you cannot believe in God if you do not know his character. The second thing that I will attempt to talk about is the ways. How does God do his things? Because when you know how God operates, you will have the confidence to know because once you know the way, you will have the guts to wait. The Bible says, your ways are not my ways. There is an approach that God uses when he's dealing with his people. There is an approach that God uses when he wants to bless you. The things that are physical, the way we are used to normal principles, God is not a respecter of those things. He will tell you, even though you go through the fire, there is another way that you could go. But his way is through the fire. Ah, his way is when many waters are coming. His way is when your enemies are rising above you. Because when you know his ways, you will have the confidence to trust in him. Ah, the Bible says it was only 40 days into the promised land, but God used a longer route because there was a desirable activity that he wanted to do in the hearts of the children of Israel. God ways, tell your neighbor, his ways. His ways. You may think uh, that he has forgotten you, but he is still on time. You may think uh, that nothing is happening, uh, but uh, behind the scenes, uh, there are things that are happening. He is preparing a place for you. He is preparing your marriage for you. You may think that this child uh, will never amount to anything, but the Bible says that all things. Tell your neighbor all things. All things work out for the good. Ah, even what the enemy has been trying to use it for your evil. Those people that have been planning for your downfall. God is at the center of it. When he says yes, who can say no? Ah, ah. Tell your neighbor, he's working. He's working. He's working. So you need to understand his ways. The third thing you need to be confident about is his ability or power. Ah, our God is almighty. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, oh, is there anything that is too difficult Is there anything that is too difficult for me to do? The God of all flesh, the one that created the heart, and he was able to separate and create a boundary that waters could not come beyond that. That God that has suspended millions of stars, galaxies, and every other thing. What makes you doubt on his ability just to save you? What makes you doubt on his ability to heal you? What makes you doubt on his ability? Ability to feed you. He that fed the prophet. Oh, the ravens. They were being sent to bring meat. What is that thing that God cannot do? What is that question that has been in your life? That thing that has persisted for long? I came to tell you. Introduce that thing to our God he is able, tell your neighbor he is able, he is able to do exceedingly a 
abundantly above all, all that I could ever ask or imagine. Sometimes you will ask for a salary of 150, but our God has the power to exceed your expectation. He will go to 500, and that's why you can sing. See what the Lord has done. Ah, there are some of us, if it was not for God, ah, we wouldn't be here. I know this God has the ability to take you from the dunghill. He has an ability ability to bring you to places of honor because there is nothing impossible with our God. With our God. We trust him because he is dependable. We trust him because he is reliable. We trust him because he is not a man that he should lie. When he says, Abraham, in blessing, I will bless you. Ah, through you, Abraham, all the nations of the earth will be blessed. When he says this, he will do it. Because the word of God tells us uh, the promises of our God, they are yes and amen. Take heart, my sister. Take heart, my sister. As I was praying, I felt somebody who has become disappointed with God. You heard it clearly. God even told you to leave your job and come and serve him. And you have been there for four, three years and nothing is happening. I came to give you comfort. Kama alisema. Kama niye aliahidi. Atatenda. Jipe moyo. Na mtumainie buwana. Ambia jirani yako. Mtumainie buwana. Tell your neighbor, I'm to my near born. I'm to my near born. I'm to my near born. So I don't know where to start. I feel like starting from the end. Tell your neighbor, answer to. Answer to. So let me say about his power. Job chapter 42, verse 2. Job chapter 42, verse 2. I want to dwell, just giving you scriptures, because the main scripture is somewhere at the end of it all. John chapter 40, Job 42, verse 2. Are you able to see that? Are you able to see that? And are you able to read? Can you read it with me? I know what? That you can do what? Everything. When we look at the power of God, we should be reminded that our God can do everything minus nothing. I well, he can do everything, and that no purpose of his can be withheld from you. Everything that God has fashioned and declared about your life, it will come to pass. Jeremiah 29 verses 11, the Bible says, For I alone know the thoughts and the plans that I have. God has already decreed before you came to this side of the universe. He has already decreed that there is something that through you will be achieved. So no purpose of God can be frustrated by any being and by any power. Why? Because God has authority and has power to do everything. Tell your neighbor, he can do everything. Lamentations chapter 3. Lamentations chapter 3. Lamentations chapter 3 verses 37. Ah, Lamentations chapter 3 verses 37. Who is he who speaks and it comes to pass? Ah. When he was creating the world, he simply 
simple instruction was let there be. When God wants to create, when God wants to build something out of your life, he will speak a word. He has already decreed that which he desires to see in you. I always go back to the portion of scripture that says that he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Your blessings have already been released. Your promotions, your provisions, your prosperity, your rest, everything that you require to live a godly life has already been released. He has already spoken about your life. He has said, Pastor Eric, you are an anointed man to take the gospel all over the nations he is not looking at the printer of the government which cannot print visas because he can do everything tell your neighbor he can do everything so whatever he has spoken about you shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded when he is not the one who has spoken no which can determine your fate. Your life is not at the hands of your bosses who have said you will never be promoted. When God says you will be a Baba not beneath. He has declared a blessing over you. Who is it that can oppose what God has already commanded. Muliza jirani yako ni nani uyo? Ni nani uyo? Mme wako akakuacha na akakwambia nduko na nesa. Yaani hautawahi ona vizuri. Ni nani uyo ambaye atapinga kile Bwana ambacho amesema? The Lord has said it shall be well with the righteous. Who is that that can oppose what God as commanded. Who is that? Who is that? The supremacy of God. Tell your neighbor the supremacy of God. Luke chapter 1 verses 37. Luke chapter 1 verses 37. Luke 1 37. Luke 1 37. For with who? With who? I hope I am building somebody's faith. Tell your neighbor, with God, with God, with God, nothing is impossible. In other words, you can, God has given you a blank check for you to write what it is that you want. Oh, God has given a we call it a check and within that check he has already signed and asked you ask for anything and I will give you whatever it is that you see and desire the Bible says if you delight yourself in the Lord he will grant you the desires of your heart which is that place you want to see to live at where is that house that you want to buy? You may not have money in the pocket, but the Bible says cattle in a thousand hills belongs to him. You are from a rich father. Your father is rich. The streets of heaven, they are coated with gold. If he has said that you will be blessed, what is this? Thing that he cannot do. For with God all things are possible. The reason why we cannot see that manifested in our lives is because we do not believe in this God. Uh, 
you believe more on the people and the reason and I understand the reason why many people have a difficulty in understanding and in relying in God is because he cannot be seen most of us are trying to deal with God from the physical senses you are more used to what you see with your eyes what you feel what you hear with your ears that is your challenge but the Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians that we walk by faith not by sight so you need to be able to readjust and to work on your spiritual senses because for you to interact with God the Bible says is it in John chapter 4 verses 23 that God is a spirit in other words this thing about putting your trust is a spiritual issue is about your spirit building your spirit to be able to connect to what the spirit of God is declaring and saying say amen so the Bible even says that the things that are seen they are temporal but the things that are not seen they are permanent in other words the things that are in the spiritual blessings in spiritual places in heavenly places they are more real than the physical chairs we see everything that you will ever manifest in the physical comes from the spiritual what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, is it verse chapter 2 verses 18, that the carnal man, the natural man, cannot receive anything from God because the things that God releases, they are spiritually designed. They are only captured in the spirit. In other words, you must move and transition from walking in the flesh and become a man who has built up his spirit. Colossians, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10, the Bible says, finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. When your spiritual man has the ability to connect and interact with God, give it time, it will come to pass in the physical. That job is in the spiritual. That marriage is in the spiritual. That opportunity is in the spiritual. Switch from the eyes. The Bible says when Peter began to look at the waters, he began to sink. The reason that you are sinking, your eyes are on the wrong thing. Tell your neighbor, look up. Ah, ah, in Kamaya revival, Mambe Giraniaco, in Kamaya revival, Ah, Mumania Mother Son, Acts chapter four, four, chapter verses twenty seven, Acts chapter four, verses twenty seven. That's about his power. Nothing is impossible with him. I know that he can do all things. And I know when he has spoken, it will come to pass. For truly again as your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel who are gathered together. Uh -huh. To do whatever your hand and whatever your purpose to determine before to be done. Even the enemies that have afflicted you, even the challenges that are present in your life, they were all summoned and sent to you because in all things, God knows the end before the beginning. When Pilate and Herod and every opposition that was against Jesus, it is because God had a purpose that is supreme than the affliction. There is a story behind your mess. There is a reason and a greater reason behind your current problems. 
So I have said this to come to this particular point. Second Chronicles chapter 20. I told you that God is about to bring healing to life or long ages shame that his people have suffered for long. Start from verse 2. Start from verse 2. Then some came and told Jehoshaphat, saying, A great multitude is coming against you from beyond the sea, from Syria, and they are in Azazam, Az 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 Azazon Tamar, which is En Gedi. Continue. And Jehoshaphat did what? He feared. He is human. He has been told that a great army is coming against you. The reason that sometimes we get fear is because our own abilities, they have limits. The reason that sometimes we become afraid is because when we look at ourselves, we realize we are limited. We are inadequate. So Jehoshaphat, after hearing that the armies are coming against him, the Bible says he feared. And the fear drove him to do a very crucial thing. The fear drove him to seek the Lord. This is good fear. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, this is good fear. That when he looked at himself, when he took a tally of his army, and he compared to what was coming against him, he realized, Hapa kama si mungu si tatoboa. So the thing that he did, he set himself to seek the Lord. In other words, he turned back to where his source of strength is from. He proclaimed a fast. Go on, verse 4. So all the Judah together, so all Judah gathered together to ask what? Uh, are you reading? Uh, is it should it be a Swahili service? They gather together to do what? To ask help from the Lord. And from all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. That's why I began by giving you scriptures that tell you them that trust in God. God, they shall not be put to shame. When you seek God, it is an indicator that your trust is in his power and in his faithfulness. When you find yourself cornered, ah, when you find yourself at the end of every other thing, you are up an option. You are better option. In fact, you are best option is to turn to God. You tell your neighbor, turn to God. Turn to God. An army is coming. It is coming to destroy the kingdom of Israel, the kingdom of Judah. It is coming with such a great multitude. And for sure, Jehoshaphat knew I will not make it. I came to talk to somebody. There is a report that you have recently received. And according to that report, it looks like it is your end. When you have been told, looks that this is the final nail on the, on the coffin. I came with the word from God. This is not your end. Tell your neighbor, this is not my end. Ah, because I know whom I will run to. The Bible says, and the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous, when you run to him, when you run to God, God will help you. God will take the battle. God will fight for you. I came to tell somebody, you have been fighting. This is not your battle. This is not for you to fight. This is not for you to give them a response. This is for you to turn 
to God because when you turn to God he becomes your shield when you turn to God he picks up the battles when you come to God he says now it is my strength that is going to operate forget about your bank account forget about the loan that you want to take I came to declare there is help in Zion them that wait upon the Lord shall be strong at a hilly little Peter little Peter little Peter little Peter madui na sauti ambazo zimejiinua ah jifiche katika bwana biblia inasema and he who dwells in the secret place run to your secret place run to your source of strength unaribiwa unakopa chama unakopa mwananchi unakopa benge oh wewe kwani ni wanani uliza mwana jirani yao kwani wewe ni wanani kwani wewe ni wanani unahangaika ni kama una Mungu unapigwa teke unaenda fuliza unapigwa teke unaenda sijui wapi i came to tell you there is help in the lord there is help in the lord and tonight the enemies i had when i was praying there are people who have been following you there is somebody who they are trying to take their land tonight it is no going to be won in the court we are settling here o mundo ku mundo this jesus versus them ndio tujue ni nani who was the final say i hear in the spirit wamesema hawatapumzika mpaka wakuzike ah waambie wameguza mboni ya bwana for you are the apple of his eye ne gaima kitie no weapon no weapon here he jcc no weapon that has been forged against you whether they meet when they are naked whether they meet when they are fired tonight we have a god tonight we have the might the warrior of the tribe of Judah is not going to send Gabriel is not going to send Michael because when we seek him he comes he comes go to verse 17 Let me show you how God comes. I hear a move in the spirit. Ah, you will not need to fight this in the battle. Forget them that oppressed you. Forget them that offended you. Achilia, yale ya kale. Tonight you are about to see God in battle. position yourself and stand still when god is fighting for you the first thing that happens you become restful in the midst of pain god is about to give you an answer of peace i declare tonight peace be still in whatever it is that you are going through Ah, there is somebody whose visa has been denied and you are about to travel i declare peace be still in the name of jesus stand still and what do what see the salvation of the law them that have been laughing at you they are about ushayona mtu anacheka ha 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 na kunde sikunde anaanza kubadilisha ha 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 
Anashikwa na butwa. Ah God is about to surprise them that have been laughing at you. That's why I began by saying them that have been asking you where is your God? I came to declare tonight you are about to see the salvation of God. Only be still. Only be still. Quit fighting. Quit defending yourself. Quit running from man to man. Quit looking at what you can do. Tonight I lift up my eyes up upon the hills. Where does my help come from? My help is from above. I connect to above. I connect to this God who says, can you go to Isaiah chapter 54? 54, 54 verse 4. Isaiah 54, 54. Isaiah 54. I feel the power. Ah, there is something that must change tonight. Ah, nasio joto ya kuhubiri. Nasikia joto ya kiro. Kuna mtu atangolewa mali Apelekwe mahali mpaka wewe ukifika ujiuliza ilikuwa kama ndoto ah kama ndoto hata huko umepanga utaolewa lakini kuna mambo ambayo yanaenda kuharakishwa katika mbingu mbingu imesema ndio ni nani huyo wa kupinga no muombe amen no msemu semu semu amen hey ai this is what will happen. This is God telling you tonight. Do what? Do not be. Do not do what? Do not fear. Do not fear. Keep obeying. Do not fear. Keep waiting. Do not fear. You will not be ashamed. Ah. You will not be disgraced. If they said no once more, try again. Because this time, I don't know who I am speaking to. That application for sponsorship. Oh, this is the right time. Because the waters have been stirred. Oh, this time, you will not be... Ah, you know what happens? Shame causes us to lose confidence. Things that belong to you, you speak yourself out of them. That's Shame will create fear. And God does not walk with cowards. He calls Gideon and tells them, these people are too many for me to win a battle. I want you to send them back home. I want them that are afraid, when he says them are, that are afraid, 20,000 wanaume, wameva ndevu, wakona ndevu na suarizao, wakarudi nyumbani. One thing that shame will do, it will make you disqualify yourself out of opportunities that God as presented to you. I don't know who I am talking to. They called you and they told you they have an offer. But because you have been afraid, you have been looking at your bank account and saying this contract I cannot achieve. Tonight I came to cast away every spirit of fear. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. But he has given us a spirit of power and of love and a sound mind. Fear be gone. You deserve good things. Tell your neighbor, I deserve it. I deserve good things. Ah, just because you were brought from Makudhune, there in the Lord, ya, kasikeo uko chini, wakati mulikuwa mnachemusha maembe, kwa sababu ya kuishiwa, na kukakua haibu katika maisha yako. Ah, 
you are a daughter of a king you deserve good things ah you deserve to wear well yi unapaa uvae viatu nzuri asi unapaa uvae suit nzuri asi unapaa wacha kujiachilia hivi hivi tell your neighbor wacha kutuangusha wewe ah Hatunakaa tu hivi hivi. Eh mimi siwezi afford. Saa yote wewe ni wa mtu wa Bendova. Unajua Bendova supermarket. 30 20 30 20. Maisha ya Bendova achana nayo. Wewe ni mtu wa kuingia botika. Na unaambiwa kaa hapa chini customer. Wacha tukuletee nguo. Kuna nguo zimetoka taki jana. You deserve it. Tell your neighbor I deserve it. Don't walk in shame. Ah, wewe ni mtu wa Bendova, yani mitumba, kale kakia tukamia. Wewe bila umevaa tu, package yako yote ni 500. Ah, mwambie ni madharau ya shetani. Ah, sitoshani hivyo. All the Bible says, for your shame, I will give you double. Instead of your ashes, I will give you beauty for ashes. Ah you cannot interact with this god and remain miserable. Ah wewe ni ule wa kwenda unanunua supu unaenda kuchanganishwa na sukuma ndio usikie ni kama umekula nyama. Unafaa kukula vyema because the bible says ah if you be obedient and willing you will eat the good of the land ah surely goodness and mercy mambo ya kukatakatiwa maandazi na kusema ni chome ambia jirani yako mio sio yangu ah, ni chome naongea na mabacha la hapa ni chome ukitoka hapa unaangalia left unaangalia right unaangalia left unaambia mtu pasua eh hapana hapana ah, utaingia kwa mikahawa biblia inasema the things that are good that they have been revealed to us they belong to us you deserve to take yourself to an hotel bila kuangalia menu na ukule hii mambo ya kuangalia menu na kuanza huko nyuma ni sana nane jua imewaka na unaitisha chai na andasi ah. shame ai shame 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 i refuse to live below what god has set for me he says you will be blessed above all the nations of the other you will lend and not borrow what is this story at what wa kanisa at wezi faidika what is this myth that our god cannot help us who told you that our god thrives when we are poor uh, shame creates fear nikikupatia 1000 kumi sahi because your mindset has been fashioned by shame and poverty utaenda kesho mudhurua kwaacha kwaacha asubuhi asubuhi mudhurua ununue tu sikati tu wili tu tatu ah na sijadharau kuna kiwango Mungu anakutoanga usichokikataa akitabadilika if you do not desire for yourself good things they will not come oh my god i told yesterday service things don't just happen things are caused to happen there are lives and things and levels that you should refuse to be at ukichelewa service sawa panda uba ai sasa tulale hapo muumu unalala hapo unasema ati tu asubuhi kwa sababu umekosa 150 ya kwenda paibu ah sijui kama mnaudhikanga na umasikini aibu hizo ndio aibu nimesema bwana ni lazima abadilishe kiwango chako ah isao aliambiwa wakati utachoka 
the day you will become restless. Never be comfortable with poverty. Never be comfortable living beneath what you read. This Bible is true. This Bible is true. When Jabez realized this is not my portion, the Bible says he turned to God and he prayed. The Bible says, and the Lord had his prayer. We are not dealing with a mummy. Our God hears. We are not dealing with Muhammad. Muhammad Ali Kufa na Kaisha. We are dealing with God who resurrected with all power and with all authority. And he said, Behold, I give you the keys. Keys to open up the life you want. Shame creates fear. Never be disgraced, for will never be put to shame. Everything has an expiry date. Any challenge that you are going through has an expiry date. For what will God do? Read that. What will God do? He will do what? You will forget the shame of your youth. In other words, what I will give and I will do. Ushaijua kuna mahali Mungu anakufa anakupitishanga na anabadilisha maisha yako mpaka ukijaribu kuimagine mahali amekutoa unasema si wewe Ah, tumekuwa hapo mahali hata tungeinua mikono kanisa kwa sababu tulikuwa tunanuka kubo yani tunanuka ukiinua mikono trosa ni moja shati ni moja lakini kuna Mungu anayebadilisha hali za wale wanaomtumainia ah, he will forget your shame you will forget you will forget where you are today Ah, I want you to write where you write. Today, ah, today, this is the last day I am seeing this and this. Because you will forget the shame of your youth. And you, and you will not remember what? The reproach. Yale madharau na diaka ambayo mambo na hali na watu wamekuonesha hauta ya kumbuka tena hauta ya kumbuka tena zile vidonda ambavyo vimetokana kwa ajili ya kulia hata uko na uko na stomach ulcers sababu ya kukula vibaya your story is about to change you will not remember the reproach the reproach why verse 5 verse 5 eh time imeenda acha nimalizie hapa verse 5 for who ah, this blew my mind for god is taking you up ah my husband anyone who is a husband in this place when the wife says sina a responsible husband anamuulizanga unataka ngapi ah the lord your maker is your husband the lord your maker the bill is on him wewe kula mwambie bwana asunilipie because from today is becoming your husband the lord of hosts is his name is reminding you who god is called the god of who the husband your husband is the god of all the whole earth your husband is the redeemer in other words he will pay the bills in other words no shame will be mentioned because the work of a husband is to cover you have been covered with glory you have been covered with favor you have been covered with grace the covering of god is coming on you that's why you will not remember the pain of your youth the reproach that you have gone through over the years I don't care who it is that pronounced it your husband the Lord of hosts your husband the Redeemer your husband the God
God of all the earth is taking up your liability. Your troubles are his trouble. Your pain are his pain. Your tears are his tears. Tell your neighbor, I have found a husband. Ah, ah, he's taking up. Is taking up your his responsibility. Your well being is his responsibility. What you eat is his responsibility. What you wear, that's why he says, Do not be trashed over anything. Do not worry what you will wear, what you will eat, what you will drink, because that is the work of the people that do not know God. That is the work of them that are not in this family. So long as you are in this family, do not worry over what you will wear. Do not worry on what you will eat. In the desert, there was no... Inaitangwa pronto. Odeli inaitangwa pronto. Hii haba ya hii. Uko katika jangwa, hakukuwa alinusura. Katika jangwa, hakukuwa kilimanjaro. Katika jangwa, hakukuwa hilton. Lakini walikula, bibile inasema mbaga zikatokea kwa mapua. Is able to supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. That's my husband. That's why I began by telling you, do you know who you belong to? Stand up on your feet. I don't think I can finish this. God is changing your story. Isaiah 35. Isaiah 35. As I finish, there is so much. There is so much. There is so much that I wanted to speak. But I feel time has really... Isaiah chapter 35. Let's see. Isaiah 35 verse 4. Isaiah 35 verse 4. This is what the Lord told me to tell you. Anyone that has been fearful and has been trying to tell himself, I do not deserve it. This is what God is saying to you. Do not say to those who are fearful hearted. Because you failed yesterday, you have been fearing to try again. Because you were disappointed yesterday, you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are you are holding back. You are hesitating. Should I get into a relationship? This is not going to be like that. Ah. Tell your neighbor, this is not going to be like that. This is different. This is different. Because God says, be strong. Do not fear. So why am I not going to fear? Behold your God. Behold you are God. His silence is not that he does not see. His silence is not that it, he cannot do. His silence is not that he, is, he has forgotten about you. The reason that the Bible is declaring tonight that he will come with vengeance because it is payback time. Ah. Them that have been oppressing, manipulating, and trying to put you down. It is time for them to meet your husband. Ah, it is time for them to encounter your God. The Bible says vengeance belongs to God. It is time for God to Scatter your enemy. It is time for him to arise with vengeance and judge every situation that has been against what he has declared about you. Has he not said that he will bless you? Has he not said that he will heal you? Has he not said that he will make a way where there is no way? Has he not said that he is with you? It is time for him to arise and manifest that all along you have been in his thought. All alone he has let all this to happen because no temptation will overrun you that which God has not measured. Ah, 
I don't know who I am talking to. And the next thing that God is coming with is recompense. Recompense means reward. He says in Hebrews chapter 11 verses 6 that he is a rewarder. There is time for reward. Oh, for your trouble, I am going to give you double. Oh, the Bible says when a thief is caught, it will pay seven times. I hear restoration. I hear a word declaring it is time for your restoration. Ever since COVID, your life seems like it is getting worse to us. God is about to elevate you. I hear an anointing is coming on you, mama, that is going to make you run and not grow weary. Ah, because you have been waiting on God, is rewarding. A reward has been released. Only be strong. I want you to declare to God, I have been here waiting. It is my time. For 38 years, a man sat at the pool where miracles were happening. It is like others have been getting blessed. No, anakuacha hapo. Unakaka unasikia rusi. Na yako uski. Buwana amenyambia ni kuambia. He is coming with a reward. The time for him to reward. He has measured and weighed. And he has found. You are still coming to church. You are still coming to morning glory. You are still coming to prayer. No matter what has been happening. You have been faithful. To whom who is faithful. He will show himself faithful. Our God is a rewarder. I hear rewards. Nasikia kingly kingly. A rewarder. There are those that are open. There are miracles uh, that are taken up. Uh, ah, if I was you, I will raise up my hands uh, and begin to declare, Thank you. Thank you, Baba. Umeni kumbuka. Thank you, Baba. Umeni kumbuka. Ah, your husband uh, is in the house. Uh, your husband uh, is in the house. Uh, your husband. Uh, is in the house. You are not forsaken. He did not forget you. All alone. He knew where you are. And tonight, just like he told Moses, I have seen the affliction of my people and I have heard their cry and I have come down. God is in the house. Oh my God. God is in the house. Oh my God. God is in the house. I can see him. I can see him. I see the Lord. I see the Lord. He's coming to you. He's wiping your tears and telling you, fear not. You will not be put to shame. Fear not. The reproach of your life. I am rolling it over because when he says he's not a man that he should lie oh my god there is healing in the house there is healing in the house there is healing in the house he told you i want to use you and it has looked like nothing is happening oh my god you even attempted to do like moses to do it on your own and it failed ah his time his ways are not our ways tonight He's calm. He's calm. He's calm. He's calm. I don't know who am I was sent to. But tonight, it is sealed. It has been declared. Who can oppose? Who can oppose? Ekisara. Epakayala. Osila. Esikayala. Oh, Shara. Abakayala Suka. Epeketele Rebashu.
You have been going to a certain office and they have been staying. Wamekana pesa yako. Wamekana pesa yako. Umekua ukienda. Wana kuambia enda. I just I knew. Ati file lipotea. Buona. Hame ingia kwa hii office. Your file will be recovered and you will be paid you will be paid you will be paid kile wamekunyima kile wamekwaramia mara saba mara saba mara saba oh my god who has believed our report to whom has the hand of god been revealed to who tonight will dare ask tell god I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Alastala Mahara, Kapala Nine Nendosika. Shala Barakasa, Hara Pakayanda. Oh, God is changing your story. God is changing your story. Shelebere hastana makata. Ah, where is the praise and worship? Oh, rapakasila marede. Oh, nafsi angu usichoke. Moyo angu umtumaini ebara. Halivi o aidi hatatenda. To my knee, Buana. Adizake Nizamile. Akisema. Amesema. Usi fadaike. Usi choke. To my knee, Buana. Come on, Bua. He shook up you. Talk Kwenye hali, na neno lake, kwa kinywa chake, hali tarudi. Hili neno hali tarudi pure, ah, rapa kase kataya, hali yose. Nitatenda, hali yose. Mingu zilivyo juu ya inchi, mawazo yake ni mawazo. Are you able to sing that song properly? Mutu wa keyboard alienda nyumbani. Are you able to project us to make a declaration through that song? Do you have that song with us? Josephine, are you able to lead us? I want us to lift up our hands and tell our souls, Oh, my soul, be still. Be still. Be still tonight. Alibyo ahidi hatatenda. Alivyo sema itatimia. Hili neno alitarudi pure. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. Just sing the first answer. Because of time. Just sing the first answer. I want you to decree it over yourself. I want you to decree these words over your life. That this word shall not return. Without fulfilling that which you sent it to do. Ele ke prega da da dele mashtalama.
Start seeing God intervening tonight. God is moving tonight. God is taking up your battle tonight. And one of the indications that this word was for you, you will experience an unusual peace. Peace. Ah, I feel it. Oh my God, you will reveal your peace. Oh, peace is coming tonight. An unusual joy and peace is being poured tonight because it is no longer you fighting, but Him fighting for you. Do not fear. For the God, your husband, will take over this battle. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Get to your pockets and let's get an offering tonight. Oh God. Alabala and the steke beneni la marolish tagana. Stele mini and the lebere de lolina radagarore asulanda. Irene mendele de mendes de neme. Ele mendele in the nestamani and estonia. Oh, ribebesh de leberia babos safan in ele catiri de. Oh, Rabba Baba Mora Baba Lendesto Baba Shalanda. Yere de 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 Yes, Lord. We agree with your word. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Shalabahandre Stepanandeshtana. Uh, are you ready with your offering? Is your offering ready? Pastor Eric, can you pray for our offering tonight? Can we assist him with a mic? Lift your offering. Abba Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are so grateful, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your living word. Lord, you have promised us, Lord, that you will never forsake us. Lord, you have sent before us an angel to show us the way that, Lord Jesus, we may rejoice. Lord, Father, for your joy, Lord, in us is our strength. Lord, you have declared tonight there shall be no shame. Father, for you have rolled away the rock of shame from us. Now may we see, Lord, the road that you have meant for us tonight. Jesus, Son of God, may you paint, Lord, everything for us to see. Lord, enlighten our eyes through this word. Lord, Jehovah, Father, you have marked this day. The Lord at turning point, the Lord of glory, we shall never again be ashamed. 
we shall never again see shame in the mighty name of Jesus Lord for your word says if we are willing and obedient we shall eat the fruit of the land father the place where you have prepared for us Lord we have seen the place help us for you are our help in the mighty name of Jesus God you have released your blessing upon us Lord of heaven let people remember this day let people see your glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we connect our givings to this world and the Lord of glory we join our faith Lord Jesus together declaring that Lord we have seen Lord your faithfulness through the world we honor you King Jesus Lord receive our our givings tonight and release your breath of life that Lord our lives may be transformed in Jesus name we have prayed amen 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 you can bring your offerings to the altar tonight shelebele basakataya sijaona mungu kama we Sijaona kama wewe kutakuwa na kutakuwa na kutakuwa give you glory we give you praise we thank you for speaking to us Lord we shall not be ashamed Lord your word is true your word is sure and we put our faith on you Lord and we know that there shall be no shame in our lives I thank you for everyone of us that have gathered here tonight and I pray for your blessing. I pray for your peace. And I pray for your grace over their lives. As we go to our houses, Father, I pray in Jesus' name that there shall be a covering over every one of us. No incidents, no accident, no attacks. I thank you, Father, and I bless your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Help me to celebrate the King of glory. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We celebrate you. Asante. Wow. Praise the Lord. Just a minute. Uh, let's, uh, let's remember. Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> we are just sharing the words of grace. 
uh, morning glory continues, grace hour continues. Tomorrow night, evening, we meet for Toda. Friday, we meet for Kesha. The only key announcement is let's remember for the leaders, department leaders, is a meeting, a critical meeting on Saturday at eight at 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And Shabak is on Sunday. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. Have you been, have you been blessed? Uh, please say hi to your neighbor as we share the words of grace. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. God bless you.